look of it. The taste of it, the smell of it, the texture. I love gold so much that I even lost my genitalia in an unfortunate smelting accident. Hence the name, Gold Member. This is gold, Mr. Bond. All my life I've been in love with its color, its brilliance, its divine heaviness. Hey guys, in today's video we're finally going to get some paint on my Legio Custodes. This is going to be part one of probably a two part video, maybe three depending on how long these take. Um, and moving through completing my units of Legio Custodes. So, first step, this is very similar to how I've um, done the gold on my Thousand Suns, if you want to check those videos out. It's a very similar process to start with. So it's all been primed with a Vallejo Surface Primer, which is done through my airbrush. Uh, and then using Retributor Armour in a spray can from Games Workshop, I have sprayed them all gold. So the first stage is exactly the same as the Thousand Suns in, that's a Reichland Flesh Shade Wash, and that just goes quite liberally all over the model. Getting it in all the nooks and crannies, all the recesses, there's a bucket load of detail on these models so uh, getting that in there is really good. It sort of dulls down the really bright sheen but we'll be bringing that back up again with the next layers of painting. So that's the first part of the process, so we'll just speed through as this one's done and then finish the rest of the squad off. So here we go then, I have finished the five with their Reichland Flesh Shade Wash and they end up looking like uh, this. So it's quite simple, every model has now been given that stage and allowed to dry before moving on to the next bit. So the next stage then is to bring up some uh, highlights now that we've uh, dulled these down. So we're starting with a darker gold here from Vallejo. Just thin that down nicely so we've got some good control on the brush. So just using an old skanky brush, just mixing that with some water. And now with a, a double zero brush I'm using here, it's a case of just picking out all the winged detail, all the uh, all the raised areas, and this is. For a detailed model, this is actually surprisingly a quick process I found because there's there's so much detail that the highlights are very targeted. So there's uh, a lot of raised areas rather than big flat panels. So you're not having to do too much on the big panel. So it's actually, as I said, quite quick just to sort of pick out uh, the, the the detail here. So we move on to a next stage of highlight then, so this is a, a brighter gold again. 
So I'm still using the same paint that I did for my Thousand Suns, as I said right at the very start, really. Um, the gold is very similar, but instead of dry brushing the gold, we're just targeting the, the raised areas here. So it's more of a, a layered approach. So where we've done the glorious gold layer before, this is now just picking out the real edges now. So uh, yeah, not not so much in the gold. Again, quite a quick process because you are just picking out the uh, the really fine highlights now. So you know the tops of the shoulder pads there, lots of the the winged iconography, uh, some of the fingertips. And you know, sort of the, the top ridges on some of the leg greaves and so on. It's quite a, you know, if you've got a good bit of control, again, I'm still using a double zero brush here, um, but just picking out those extra bits of, of highlight. So the final step then is to use some chainmail silver just to really pick out the highest corners, the very tips and very uh, sharpest edges across the model. So you're not really doing a lot on this. I mean, if you go overboard, it does, I think, look a bit OTT, but here I'm just sort of picking out the, the, the very top of the, the shoulder pads in the two corners, the very ends of the arm van braces, the tops of the uh, leg greaves, and some of the, the pointy bits on his toes. So just be really targeted where you're going to do this, uh, the top of the, the neck collar part there, and as I said just going onto the knees now, um, yeah just be really targeted. So now the gold is complete we can start blacking in some of the detail on the uh, Guardian Spear now, so I'm using Vallejo Air Black I think for this bit because it's uh, it's already diluted and easily applied, um, just still mixing it with a little bit of water but I find it's a bit smoother and a bit easier to go on than just using a regular black paint. So we're just blacking in the Guardian Spear itself, just avoiding some of the gold um, filigree I think is the right word, it's the, uh, the swirly bits of pattern and the eagle head at the very top. So just covering in the blade, the magazine, the storm bolter and the haft of the weapon. And just giving that a good colouring in black so we can highlight that up at a later stage. Also the uh, armour coiled uh, sections in the backs of the knees and the tops of the thighs. Um, sort of you know the ribbed uh, cable guards or whatever they're going to be called. The exhausts on the backpack. And then there's some chest cabling as well that you can just about see in the middle. And just black that in so that we can uh, either highlight that grey or do a metallic effect. I'm also doing the hair. Um, the hair is going to be, well the plume is going to be red. Um, but red over gold is never a nice colour. when It always goes a bit funky for me so I always black it in first. And there we go, once we're done we just move on to the red stage for this video. So this is a gory red, so it's a very dark red, I think it's the darkest red I've got in my collection. And here I'm just applying that all to the leather strapping around his groin, and the hair plume, and also on his left shoulder guard, uh, there's a spot colour in the middle of there as well, so just being careful how to apply that, making sure you don't get it onto the gold, as red over gold does show quite badly. But if you've still got some of the liquid paint from earlier, some of your gold mixed up already, uh, you can just you know um, touch in if you've making any mistakes. But just try and be a bit careful where you're applying it, especially on the shoulder guard here that I'm doing now. So the final stage for this video then, um, as I'm aware it's becoming a little bit long even when I'm fast forwarding through sections, um, and that's to give all the red sections a null oil wash, and that's just liberally applied all over the hair, uh, those shoulder straps and into the left arm uh, parts of the red. Really focusing on that left arm, just making sure that you get a sort of a defined black line between the gold and the red panel, 
then we'll be coming back to highlight the uh, red in the next video. So there we go guys, hope you enjoyed that. That's stage one of the Legio Custodes. I've done the other four in that squad now uh, to the very same stage. They've all been blacked and redded where they needed to be. So I hope you enjoy it and uh, I'll be back for part two uh, very shortly.